Hello class, Dr. Mack here, checking in with week three. I hope you're enjoying the content. Um, you know, week three is one of my favorite weeks in this course, not just because it's APA, but because we also take the time uh, to think about your topic ideas and your why. Um, I think that's so important. Um, when I was going through my doctorate, uh, oftentimes they would say, what's your burning question? which means what's your research question and you know why is it so passionate for you and I think that's so important to stay interested in your research um, oftentimes when people think of research they think of boring statistics but when it's something that you care about passionately um, you can kind of lose yourself in it and uh, that's one thing that I've always felt in my research uh, my first ever research project uh, academically um, was my dissertation um, and my dissertation was on creating safer uh, communities for people to live work and play and I focused pred predominantly on uh, marginalized communities underdeveloped communities in hopes to build relationships in order to decrease uh, their level of violence and crime um, when I think about my why, which you'll learn about uh, this week, you look at um, a video where you see Samantha Mergen's story about her why um, and, uh, and her passion for her research question. My why came from a family um, encounter. I had a cousin who was shot and killed as an innocent bystander in a robbery. Um, from there, I organized a walk for violence in his memory, um, and this was uh, when I was a senior in high school, um, where 2,000 people showed up. I organized guest speakers on what we could do to reduce uh, gun violence in the community, um, and that always uh, kind of pops up as my why. I've always uh, done research on communities, on those that are oppressed, that don't have uh, spaces of safety uh, where they can live, play, or work. Um, and I've even worked for the city of Pittsburgh on the gang unit to reduce homicide, homicides among uh, gang group members. And so that has always been my why, to create safer places uh, for the oppressed, the marginalized, for victims. Um, and that kind of pops up throughout my research. And so I wanted to share my why with you. I also uh, wanted to share the importance of APA. <clears throat> APA is something that you're not going to be able to escape uh, in this course, in other courses in the program, and in any future writing you do. It is so important that when you pull concepts or theory from other resources that you are citing them. If you don't cite them, it's considered plagiarism, uh, which can get you kicked out of course, out of a school, which can uh, ruin your professional career. Um, and so that's why it's important to follow APA format. I know that we think, oh, we can just get around it. It's just a course and we won't need it in the future, but it's important to give credit when credit is due. And so that's why I'm kind of a stickler on it. Um, you know, there's a lot of resources for APA. The best is just to use APA Purdue OWL or the APA website where they have all the updated um, uh, rules and regulations. They also have a sample paper on uh, Purdue OWL where you can see what a title page looks like, what a reference page looks like, what uh, in-text citations look like. Um, and so that's important and I just wanted to highlight that. Um, so yeah, that's a that's about it for week three. I'm excited to see what's in uh, your all's parking lot, what ideas and research topics you have. Um, I will be setting up a Zoom call here soon to discuss those so that you can stop by and and uh, just share in some research conversation or uh, share a little bit about yourselves or any questions that you have going forward as you discover your purpose, your why, and your interest. So happy week three, and uh, we'll talk soon.